Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second round of the Golden Goblet. If you're not familiar, this is a tournament competition sort of thing where me, Michael L. Fox, Dan Giesling, upload one video a day of the same game, same or similar parameters. Highest score wins. It's very simple. You win the you win a plurality of rounds. You won the competition. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but I won Spelunky. Four to three over Malf. Dan had two do not finishes and five losses. <laughs> no, no insult intended except on the DNFs. However, they voted me out and said guaranteed what's coming next, Escape from Tarkov. Let me hit you with the parameters here. So there's going to be seven days of Escape from Tarkov. I'm just getting the parameters set here because we have to be on the same map. Day one. One scav run, highest score is determined by whatever, excuse me, I cannot play a scav run for 17 minutes. That's surprising to me as somebody who has not played uh, Tarkov for a while. But you know what? That's good. We can get a little bit of practice. If you haven't seen uh, Escape from Tarkov before, uh... I'm not the right guy to watch. Let's put it that way. What do you use? It's basically a fairly hardcore shooter. Um, and there's like a little economic element to it, if that makes sense. As you can see, I've had a lot of fun with it recently. Six raids and six uh, deaths with zero survived. Um, basically, I mean, there, Dan has a 30 second video on it. but. Essentially, you, uh, we're doing customs today, so we might as well practice that. You go in, you try to snatch up as much loot as possible, and then get out. I will say, in Spelunky, I was probably the consensus number two. If you looked at it in ELO, Malf was probably like a 2100 ELO Spelunky player. I'm like a 2000 ELO Spelunky player, and Dan is like a 1250. Just being honest. If you look at it um, for Tarkov, Dan is probably, let's call him a 1950 Tarkov player. Malf is probably like a 1500 and I'm like a 1250. So I'm a little bit low for certain. But I will also say I think it's easier to win a Golden Goblet round of Tarkov than it is to win a Spelunky round. Yes, the good Spelunky players could mess up. Malf and I never messed up on, catastrophically on the same day, though. You know, you, you got too, there's too much practice in there. It's, hard, it's possible, but unlikely. In Tarkov, all it takes is one bullet. So anything could happen. That being said, I want to let you know, you are watching the underdog. I don't know the best loot spots. All I... Really, I do like Tarkov. But what I like about it the most is the gunplay and the fact that you drop super fast. What I dislike about it is, uh, well, we don't have to go into that. <laughs> what I dislike about it is being stream sniped and having all of my tin cans stolen from me whenever we played it on stream. And, uh... That's all that needs to be said. So our scav, though, the way that scavs work, if you're not familiar, is so simple. Basically, it's like imagine you walked into a casino and they gave you 100 bucks. That's the scav. You're not putting your own resources on the line. Um, whereas in this run, you know, we're doing a PMC run. We are putting our own resources on the line. So this will just be a nice little practice because, to be honest, I don't, know, uh, I don't know most of the maps very well. There's only like a couple of different escapes that you can take. The only maps I really know are Factory and Interchange. So, uh, really, here's what I want to say. First off, I'm going to provide you with some entertainment. We're going to have some fun. Secondly, though, um, just I'm sending a you're welcome over to, to Malf and Dan. Because I'm, it's not that I'm starting from zero. Like, here's the thing. 
You might say, but Dan played Spelunky. That's true. I'm not trying to say anything's unfair. I'm just spitballing as we go through this egregiously long uh, queuing screen. But we're almost in. But, like, in Spelunky, you just go to the bottom and there's a door. You go through the door. In this, I'm going to have to, like, pull up a map on the other side of the screen. Oh, you got to make it through the train exit. I don't know where the train exit is. I just want to bop. That's all I want to do. I just want to click, click. It's over, you know? But the good news is, once we're done with Tarkov, which I hope to have some fun with, we can also... Uh, play something else. Perhaps a little bit more up my alley. Um, so that's a pretty good start. I've taken 20 damage. Uh, from glitching into a rock, I think. <laughs> uh, there's some serious explosions going on there. That's okay. That's okay, I'm unconcerned. There's also two types of enemies in Tarkov. There are other players who are the real danger. And there are enemy scavs. Enemy scavs are fodder. Those are the, they don't get aggro until we get aggro. And those are the most likely sources of us getting some kills. I will let you know. I recognize I'm I'm seeding a lot of negativity here. That's not my intention, but I'm just going with the flow. I advocated for a scoring system based around uh kills instead of loot. I was not shot down, but perhaps ignored. <laughs> Cause I think Oh I see movement. Yo 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 I don't wanna I mean I do wanna shoot at that guy, but I don't wanna shoot at him with a nine millimeter from three hundred yards away through a fence, okay? I think kills I mean we'll see how it goes. I think kills would be a more interesting style though. So let's get low. I think it would lead to more aggressive gameplay instead of just like, you know, oh, I know that this PC is full of AMD Radeon video cards, but it is what it is, you know? I'll tell you, if, if there's, there's two days, and you know, if I pull out a dub at any point, I would be stoked. There's two days where I think I've got a real chance. One is the day we play Factory, because Factory is basically like Deathmatch. The other is the day we play Interchange. So do not lose hope until those days have come to pass. The beauty of Tarkov is that at any given moment, Things could go from quiet to disastrous. Oh. And this is, uh, I think this is the first Tarkov with face cam. You can see the real terror in my eyes when stuff like this happens. Oh, somebody's already been in here, dude. And of course, just like in real life, you can't open something that's already opened until you close it first. What the heck are you? Beats me, brother. Put that in the alpha container. <laughs> Yo. Thought I heard some movement. Thought I heard some movement. It's okay. This will not break my legs. Ain't nothing gonna hold me down. Ain't nothing gonna break my legs. We made it. I got to keep on moving. I'm also hoping... Maybe... Just maybe... We can have some... And I'm not gonna loot that thing. You know why? Looting is boring. Shooting? 
Great time. Luden, I sleep. I don't care how many bitcoins he's got in his pockets. All I care about is how many bullets he's got in the chamber. But I'm hoping that we can get some moments of unexpected acumen. You know what I mean? Ooh, what you got in there? Some dollars and an unknown item. Could be anything. A lighter. Wow. Had to examine it closely to determine that one. Just like I, I genuinely rooted for Dan to, to get some stuff, uh, to have some unexpectedly good runs in Spelunky. I hope he and Malf are rooting for me a little bit. Because this is really... I mean, Dan probably has like at least 1,000 hours in Tarkov. Malf and I are probably... We're much closer, but Malf definitely has more. Ooh. What is that? Yo, it's a medical kit. Why don't you go ahead and put that in the alpha container, meaning if we die, we don't lose it. Hello, sir. I see you, you might have thought I did not see you, but I saw you. That is not a scav. I've made a terrible mistake. I hit him. Dude, I hit, I might have killed him. Let's swap clips out here. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a guarantee. But those were controlled shots. I will say, I do not see a corpse. I will also say, the shadows are cranked up to 3,000 in there. So just stay frosty. Little radio silence. Okay, that was probably a scav. <laughs> and we did miss once. But... Is this the same dude? Take his AK. Take his hat. Take his boomer sunglasses, or as they like to call them, tactical eyewear. Search his pockets. Cell phone? Nope. It's a splint. Doesn't go on that. Take his tea bag. Search it. <clears throat> Ooh, bag of potato chips. You'll love to see it. All right, now we have a real gun. And if you were a betting man, this nearly full. This is probably where you'd be like, hey, let's get the heck out of here. I'm so good that it's almost, like, staggering. So why don't you go ahead and, I don't know, apply... Well, let's get low as well. Can you perhaps hit the, the button that allows you to get low? I see what you're doing here, and I respect it. Could you crouch while doing it? Thank you. <laughs> How do you get super low? No, not that button. Still in a bad place, huh? Losing a lot of blood? Can I repair my left arm, please? I'm just watching- I don't really understand any of this. Are we doing better? Slightly? We'll do the same thing to our other arm? Look, I'm flying blind here. I'm like, I've got no vision. I've just got instruments. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a pilot in the middle of a hurricane. 
I know how to aim and shoot, sort of. Are we on single? We are now. Okay, so we want to leave. I don't know where the exfiltration sites are. We'll see what this guy's got. I mean, if we could get out with some loot, that would be nice. Whoops. Obviously take his super milkman mask. Yo, it, no, not a real man. Let's see what else we got here. Nothing in the pockets. We could be shot at any moment, for the record. A little bit of ammo. Keep that in your vest. Oh, what did I... Do Please don't do that. Yeah, that that's probably the way it's meant to be used. We need to go fast. Get low. Get lower. You're alive? That man was alive. Now we are going to die. You can see we've got Gregor vision. <laughs> but hey, this was a nice warm up in terms of like, you know, getting some shooting in at least. We are losing 48 points of health per minute, though. Oh, that's probably going to take us down to zero. <laughs> but you know what? It was a nice little... Uh, a nice little palate cleanser. And I'm not... You know, we lost a pistol. Big whoop. I will say, if, it were, if we were doing PMC only, it would be unfair. There would be a huge amount of unfairness. Instead, there's just a slight amount of unfairness. Um, by the way, for anybody that's very, like, anal about this stuff, we leveled up. Um, we're selling all of our items to fence, just to simplify the equation. Because I don't know if it would happen, but what would be very annoying for me would be to actually have a chance to win, but, oh, I, you know, my mechanic is not at the right level. Alright, we'll wait 50 seconds. We have a shotgun scav. You may find yourself... Living in a shotgun scav. Dan told me to have all of my money in a wallet, by the way. Um, but I don't believe I own a wallet. So, like, I, I am under the impression that everybody else, I can't even get to the flea market to buy a wallet. I'm, I'm honestly under the impression that everybody else thinks I'm, like, joking about... Uh, or, like, trying to downplay my Tarkov awareness just to, like, sandbag. <laughs> but I'm really, really not. I I like Tarkov. But I do, to some extent, consider that right now I am doing a favor for a friend of mine. Okay, put me on customs, please. And, uh, you know, this is probably a good time. Let me alt-tab temporarily. And customs exfills. All right, then we'll just get this map up in the background, and uh, and we should be good to go. <clears throat> All right. The other thing is, what's really nice is you don't really have to exfil <laughs> if you just die on the raid. Now, if I had to rate this scav, let's say it's not a shotgun. I believe that's a Mosin, which is a single shot bolt action rifle. I think that is pretty good. Versatile. Um, helmet is okay. I mean, it's nice to have. Uh, glasses. Why not? A scav vest. And you know what's nice? I mean, if you really wanted to be the ultimate coward... If you got a great item as a scav, you could just walk out. <laughs> Take all of your stuff and then sell it immediately and be like, RNG has decreed that I will get the dub today. Which is why I think we should do kills, but I know Dan's watching this right now and he's like, why are you being the sandpaper? And I'm like, I think it was. I'm just throwing it out there if we ever do more Tarkov stuff in the future. I know you got, you've cultivated your own Tarkov audience. 
and your Tarkov audience sees six wires and goes, Poggers, dude! Mine, they go, I sleep. They need to see action. Let's see what we got in here. Nada. Wait, hold on. What do we got? A sling? A combat stimulant injector. Dude, that's a real human being. I was about to check my X fills. They were not moving in a scav-like fashion. So let me look at this here. Old road gate and railroad to military base. If I alt tab, old road gate. Okay, this map is clearly uh, maybe not out of date. Just mislabeled slightly. So I think we will not go that way. Like, what is this? Does it tell us if we hit O twice? Where we are? No. I get it. That's Tarka. I'm not salty. I won't even be salty if we get bopped in two seconds. I'm used to playing games that hold your hand a little. That's all right. I'm just stuck my head through some barbed wire. <laughs> Hold on. I would like to know where I'm at. Like, I'm giving it an honest try. So I am looking at, like, power lines and smokestacks. So if I alt-tab, power lines, smokestacks... I feel like if I keep going north from here, I will hit an area called Railroad to Port, which seems correct. Let me just alt-tab one more time. Oh, I don't know, are those railroad tracks? or I don't know, man. Whatever. If you just follow a wall, eventually you'll reach a door, and the door will be like, can you get out of here? Yes or no? So what would what would make me happy? What would be a successful Tarkov Golden Goblet for me? Um Honestly, 3 Xfills out of 7 scav runs. Or alternatively, well really like I know I said this about Spelunky, but I do I really mean it. 0 wins would be fine. What I desire more than anything is simply to produce entertainment. If we can entertain people, even with our badness, I would consider that okay. If one or two of these videos ends up being entertaining, that's beautiful. So I feel like I'm playing GeoGuessr right now. I don't really know where I am, but I do know that this is a box. I thought I saw movement through the window. A 9mm magazine. I think that was just the sound of the box closing. You know what I feel like? I feel like I'm in a big Ikea right now. I'm near Jekko, which is a chest of drawers. And then, of course, Tarkov over there. That's a bookcase. I 
I don't really want to walk across the bridge. But this is how you get killed in every game with a gun in it. However, on the other hand, I know that buses sometimes have loot. <laughs> oh, dude, this is an exfil. If we wanted to be a pure coward, we could definitely just hang out near the exfil here. I'd really like to get some scav kills, though. Like, that's where I'm at. If I could pick up a few scav kills, I'd consider that a, a success as well. I'm not really concerned about the loot. I'm concerned about having a good time and you having a good time as well. Okay, just peer over the ridge. I thought that tree was a man. That was my reaction, uh... First time I saw Guardians of the Galaxy. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Next step, if you hear Russian, get ready to pop. <laughs> Grab it. Search the pockets. The pockets are where the high value stuff is kept. Nothing. Nothing in the pockets, but a respirator, a hat, you never know, man. We're free. Pick the body clean. Now, is this an exfil? <laughs> we, the greed is real. I seem to recall X-filling here before, but I also seem to recall that every X-fill in Tarkov is just a wall. So that this might not teach us much. <laughs> How much time is left? 10 minutes. Well, we should be able to, if I alt tab and look at the map, I thought lay down was Z, but apparently not. Just get low here. I'm at a wall near some cranes. Could we be at the crossroads? So you won't be lonely. See me at the crossroads. So you won't be... Wait a minute. I was like, is this... Smuggler's boat? Are we at Sniper's roadblock? <laughs> That's a great song for me because uh, it, it holds very true. I'm gonna miss everybody. You know, like miss, you know what I mean? Hold on, we, I, it was a scab for sure, but we might as well see. It's full. It's all right. Consider this a practice run for now. Lootable suitcase. I mean, we could find the exfil just by a random chance, to be honest. Clock. I'm not suggesting there's a high percentage chance of that happening, but... I'm also, like, pretty stoked. I mean, these... I know there's an area on this map called dorms. Surely these are dorms. In which case, Old Gate is... Do we railroad to Port or railroad to Tarkov? Oh, railroad to Military Base? Where the heck is that? Ah, okay. If we walk across dorms, Road to Military Base should be there? From this direction? I, I wish, my quarrel is not with you dormitories. I do not wish to fight. Oh! Oh! He... It... What? Uh, <laughs> Hello, sir? I, I panicked and I opened the console? Oh! 
не тварь! Да? I thought I'd made a friend. I, I honestly don't know what happened. <laughs> um, okay, well that's episode one of Escape from Tarkov. I did not exfil, and as a result, I got zero. We'll be back to try again. Let me see what tomorrow's map is. That was, that was weird. Tomorrow's map is Shoreline. I actually do know what I'm doing. On Shoreline, I might be able to exfil. For now, though, thanks for watching. Go watch Dan and Mouse Perspective. I'll see you next time. See ya!